Hey folks, this is IO Ether and we're back with some more World of Tanks. As you can see, this is Extreme Unicorn Warfare. And he is back. Uh, this time he's decided to bring us a game in his 45 TP. And if Extreme has sent me a game, it's going to be a Saturday game. Um, that just tends to be the way <laughs> with Extreme. <laughs> he doesn't send me anything unless it is like the very best of his month. Um, and so... This should be auto fun to watch, uh, one way or the other. We shall all learn something and grow a little bit. And um, actually, I'm looking forward to to playing this tank by proxy. Uh, this is a tier eight game on steps, of course. Um, and I've forgotten to do that. I'm sorry. That doesn't feel professional, or like me. But it's not, it's not the point. <laughs> um. Um. I still gotta get to this tank. And until I do, I won't really know what it feels like to play it, but um I am definitely looking forward to it. Um speaking of things. Um by the way, if anybody anybody was watching my Minecraft CTM uh series and then decided the reverb was too much and you couldn't watch it anymore, good news, I have fixed that issue all the all the um from now on they should be coming up with a reverb so cool um go back watch that if you want to if you don't you get it but it is a lot of fun to watch me die okay uh unfortunately our platoon mate just died <laughs> we're, we're <laughs> less than two minutes into this game and we've lost a platoon mate uh where and how Middle of the map. Okay. So obviously he platooned up with them as they started this game, or maybe World Tanks is glitching. Um, but okay. So, so far he hasn't actually done any damage. He's done a, some spy damage and he's been, he's blocked a bunch of shots. He's got smacked a couple times, but that's, that's it. Um, also do note he is running, um, what's it called? Bread was smack, smack, smack. Sam, he's running a sandwich. Um, and somebody from Poland is going to tell me it's not a sandwich. That that's okay. If you could also tell me what's in it, I would love that, because I do I do want to know. Okay, finally getting a shot in edgewise. We start to advance on the enemy. Um, when two of them dead. There isn't much left over here that can actually threaten us, except for our counterpart, uh, who's actually on most of most of his health. And that go there goes all of ours. <laughs> Seventy-five health. If the artillery even sneezes in this general direction, we're going to die. Um, our med kit coming back up is going to get immediately used on the commander. Put him back in action. And now we're going to sneak away in an effort not to die. And apparently he has failed his mission. Whatever that was. Maybe involved not getting shot, because, yeah. Um, I didn't actually check on what his mission is. But I'm sure somebody can tell me what number 11 of the new missions is. I haven't memorized them. Um, he's flexing back across because... There's just no point in him going up, up against um, well, himself. At this point in time, he needs advantages and not disadvantages. And he can outmaneuver and um, deal with an ISU against the ridge line much better than he can uh, worry about his counterpart. Or T-44 for that matter. Um, as both those guys can take him out. Tracking the ISU up on the ridge line and it means everybody else can get a shot in. And uh, even if they don't, he can reload faster than this thing. Puts his tracks back on. So that is no more ISU. The T44-100 is on 8 health. So it really just need, he just needs to throw some HE down downfield. And he can take that thing out. And the problem with that is he's only got the one HE shell. The other problem is we are now losing. Um, so he really has to go and deal with this entire flank by himself on 75 hit points. Because, you know, 
The rest of the team can't help with this. They're all chasing a, <laughs> a kill on the other side of the map. And our artillery is bugging it, which is really actually what the artillery should be doing. Ooh, unfortunately missing the shot on the KV-2. That should probably have killed him. Yep, that's should have killed the KV-2. Unfortunately, somehow that, that just, you know, didn't quite get wet enough. Um, he's got uh, gold shells in now. As our artillery barely misses killing us. Um, and I don't know if he had gold shells in when he took the shot at the KV-2. If he didn't, then that would explain why he missed. If he did, I have nothing to say. I don't, I don't get it. Nice shot into the Oni. I don't know why the Oni decided to give us his side. I guess it doesn't really matter. The gold shells are going to go through either way. But it's just dumb on the Oni's part. Um, I mean, if you don't have to give the enemy an easy shot, why do so? Who's going to miss the side of an Oni? It's, I mean, it's, it's bigger than the average barn. And, uh, <laughs> easier to pen. Yeah, um, well, now there's a 40 TP in the middle of the map. But these these guys need reinforcement right now, so he's aggressing down here. Uh, he's gonna... I was gonna say he's gonna go for the 45 first. But, uh, that's really hard to do when it's dead. Um, with a 40 TP and an IS-6 in the middle of the map. Looks like he's instead turning his attention to the artillery that have been pelting him all game. No, I'm wrong. He's gonna use this ridgeline so that he doesn't have to worry about dying. Uh, because that's still bad. Comes up over the ridgeline, looks, and finds the 40. Um... Yes, we did get lit. That is bad because, of course, artillery is... Well, apparently that already isn't looking in this direction. Uh, but the other one can definitely be aiming in in this much time. And can drop a show on us that will definitely finish our game. Notice him angling his armor towards the artillery. We'll try and angle his gun towards the enemy. Oh, unfortunately, missing the back track of the uh, the 40. Um, it's quite likely that it was around the rock, but even if it wasn't, the shell went in the wrong direction anyway. And apparently it already wasn't paying attention and didn't bother aiming and firing on this side of the map because we definitely want to die from that. So coming back around, knowing this is a one-shot, and if he's not expecting the attack from this direction, that'll give us enough of a surprise that we should be able to jump him. Note, there's still an IS-6 somewhere on this side of the map. And there goes our IS. Well, that's um, annoying. And we're back to losing this match. <laughs> oh, the one, only one artillery piece left. You gotta be careful. Nice job popping up over that ridge line just enough to see the Kapoa and then taking it down. Unfortunately, we did get spotted in the process, so everybody does know where we are right, right now. And there are still two enemy artillery. <laughs> I'm not certain that could have come much closer. Nice shot! That was beautiful. He wasn't going to miss that one. Okay, now there's only one enemy artillery that we need to worry about, and we're winning. Ha! Uh, actually, both of them are dead artillery, just counter battery the other one. And so there's just an IS-6. Unfortunately, it's on almost full health. Of course it is. Yeah, because um, we didn't need any advantages in this fight. We can, we, we can take this guy as our other 45 TP starts firing from across the map. Unfortunately... Because he's so far back, he's not able to hit weak spots, or pretend, ac actually hit the target either, apparently. Um, and so, <laughs> Extreme is just poking up, only showing his turret, he's getting support from the artillery, and th the artillery is actually tracking this guy in place, and that is enough for Extreme to take him out in the middle. Considering how much of this game he spent on, like, you know, like 75 to, to 58 health, this was amazing and awesome, and I wish he had been, uh, you know, platooned up with somebody else. Actually, no, he couldn't have got any of the good mails from this. Sad and unfortunate, but sometimes it's just the way it happens. This uh, was a great game, and I can't wait to see Extreme's next game, because <laughs> it's going to be more like this, right? You know it is. 
Ace Tanker, Hand of God, Spotter, Bruiser, Fighter, Fire for Effect, Shell Proof, the Spartan, and a High Cobra. Wait, Spartan? Oh, yeah, of course. Because we spent all game with the well. <laughs> Wait, was that 10,000 experience that's all? That was 10,000 experience. Uh, albeit times four, but still. That's impressive. It's been a while since I've seen 10,000 10, experience. And I personally never got one on a times four. I've gotten one on a times five. But it's a little bit different. Um, almost 1,500 base experience. Wow. I mean, we weren't top tier in that game. Keep that in mind, right? So everything you're seeing here is w under the... Uh, the header of mid tier in this game, um, but still, I mean, he traveled almost three kilometers, just ran in circles and did damage. And um, well done, sir. A actually, making money after uh, firing that much gold is worth like I mean, it's awesome. And he did fire most of that gold out of necessity. I don't. Anytime you get down to less than ten percent health, if you want to start slinging gold. I mean, I, I'm never going to say anything about it. <laughs> At that point in time, you're just fighting for survival, and it's it's awesome. Well done. Uh, I love the, how much spine damage she got. She was really up there and doing work that entire game. Well done, sir. Thank you so much for saying this in. Uh, thank you all for watching. Have a great day. It's IOE throughout.